hi everyone welcome to excel baby steps in this lesson we are going to learn about microsoft excel formulas we will understand what a formula is and we will learn to write simple formulas like summing a bunch of numbers and finding count of numbers that meet the criteria so let us get started remember our uh, expense tracker worksheet that we were working on so this is uh, how it is and we will perform some formulas on this worksheet so that you will understand how to write formulas before even getting started I think it is important to understand what a formula is a formula is uh, your way of telling Excel that here are a bunch of values or cells that contain values do something on them and then give me back the result for example a simplest a simple formula could be you may want to find out how much money you have spent up to this point so you want to ask excel how much is the total of all these cells from e3 that is e3 okay cell e3 to cell e18 how much is the total of these values because the values are there of course you need not ask excel you can just select the cells like the like i did and you can look at the status bar here Excel displays some very quick statistics about your data. For example, what is the average? 854. How many values are there? 16. What is the minimum, maximum, and then the sum? But every time you want to find the sum, you cannot select the values like this because that's a tedious process. And sometimes you may want to take the sum and then do something with it. For example, send it to a chart or something like that. So that is where it is useful to use Excel formulas. The way formulas work is each formula let us let me write a formula here first then you will be able to understand very quickly so we will write a formula to sum these numbers i will explain it to you very quickly once i finished writing it so sum of e3 to e18 and i press enter i get the result as 13671 but let us understand what is this formula all about a formula begins with equal to sign so whenever a cell starts with equal to sign Excel thinks that in that cell you are going to type a formula of course you can also start with plus or minus and still Excel thinks it will be a formula but that's not up for discussion now okay so then you will write the name of the formula there are a bunch of formulas predefined in Excel uh, I think there are just too many formulas so I, I don't even know the number but it's at least upwards of 200 as far as I remember okay so there is a name of formula a formula to add up numbers is sum so sum as the plain English word of, of the same thing goes it suggests that it will sum up the values and then you have opening and closing brackets so this is these are the basic constructs of formula let me just uh, use the screen draw here and explain it to you what this thing does the equal to sign indicates to Excel that this is going to be a formula then the word sum tells Excel that this is the formula that Excel should use the opening brackets and the closing brackets these two curly brackets here this ones will tell Excel that do operation on the values between these two parameters so it's like the mathematical formulas that we are used to in high school and grad school okay then e3 to e18 refers to the range of cells on which the sum operation should work okay so you need not uh, use a cell reference you can also mention that sum of 100 200 300 and the result will be 600 okay so let's just get rid of, let's just get rid of that okay so sum of e3 to e18 it's a very very simple formula and when you select the formula for editing like I am doing now you will see a blue color rectangle or some other color rectangle indicating that this formula is using this range of cells okay so it's very simple stuff nothing rocket science and you can I think the best way to understand formulas is to start writing them and then playing with them and break some formulas so that you will understand them better 
and when you press enter you will get the result so even though the cell contains equal to some e3 e18 the result of that formula will be evaluated and shown to you as 13671 so that's a simple formula for you okay now let us uh, understand the formula some formula in a bit more detail by writing some example formulas sum of 100 200 and 300 and the result is 600 okay similarly you can use a formula called a count to count the values so count of 1 2 3 4 5 will be 5 similarly count of range of e3 to e18 e16 remember the count formula just counts values so what happens is when you use count of d3 to d18 you're going to get zero because there are no values in this range all of them are text values they are not numerics so count value only counts numbers okay the other trick that i have been using but did not tell you until now is how did i select the range d3 to d18 so quickly this is the trick so i type count open bracket and then select the first cell d3 then i use Control shift down arrow it selects all the cells uh, until there is a blank one so up to the last cell in that column and I get D3 to D8 in so quickly okay it will be 0 okay let's clean this up and let us write a simple but fun formula what I want to understand is I want to display a indicator next to this saying you know greater than 1000 less than 1000 so if the amount is more than 1000 I want to show that and if it is less than 1000 I want to show this maybe let's make it more fun like this more than 1k and less than 1k so this is what I want to see next to each tech, each uh, row so that I can focus my attention on the items that cost more than 1000 and probably find a ways to find ways to reduce them okay how do we write a formula for that welcome to a formula called if formula what if formula does is it tests a condition and if the condition is true it will give one output if it is false it is giving another output so in plain English how do we tell if it is more than 1k or less than 1k simple we look at the number is the number greater than 1000 yes then say that it is more than 1k if it is less than 1k it will be less than 1k so let us write a simple formula like this if e3 greater than 1000 display the text more than 1k else less than 1k the reason why we are putting this in double quotes is because it is text value and you have to put it in double quotes anything in not in double quotes has to be a number or it has to be a cell reference or it has to be a named range or some other formula okay when I press enter I automatically get that it is more than 1k now you when you select the cell you see a thick small square in the corner right you can use that to drag the cell like this I am dragging it now until the end and Excel automatically fills the formula for the rest of the range let me adjust the column width and you can see that this is less than 1k this is less than 1k when you edit this formula you will see that the reference here is E16 corresponding to this cell whereas here it was E3 so that's pretty much how you would use if formula now very quickly I want to show you another beautiful formula called as sum if what I want to do here is I want to find the sum of all the values that are under the category utils okay it works like this sum if category range utils let me write the formula then I will explain it to you what this formula is doing is wherever d3 to d18 has a value of utils sum up the corresponding value from e3 to e18 so when you press enter you see that on utilities we have paid we have paid 2380 rupees okay there is a corresponding formula called as count if and it does count the values that meet a criteria okay so there are three payments on utils and the total sum is 